Uh, earlier in the afternoon and evening hours, we saw that cold front really kind of push in and start to stall out over the Concho Valley. That's where we saw a little bit of those showers and thunderstorms, kind of still seeing some of those 90s further towards the east as well as into those upper 80s, much cooler off towards the north. That's where we're seeing the 70s. But the rain, well, we didn't see it nearly as much uh, as we might have liked, but did see that band of instability, those showers and storms kind of developing, kind of an extension from that front out in towards Tennessee, in towards Arkansas. And it does move through here in the Concho Valley as well. Saw those showers really kind of developing as we got closer towards the evening time frame. Most of it was staying off towards the east, uh, but we did end up seeing just a little bit of a thunderstorm kind of work its way in towards the San Angelo area. And it was just one of those things where it was still hot. So any water that was actually hitting on the concrete was almost evaporating instantly. If it was on a cooler surface, it was still hanging on to some of that water. So uh, not a whole lot of rain totals with it. Uh, but again, did see a little bit of rain earlier this evening. Now seeing a little bit of an outflow boundary move through the Brady area. Again, seeing a lot of this. This is all ground clutter that's getting picked up on the radar. Again, not a lot of rain out there. So again, that is just uh, being picked up on the return. Still looking at the rain totals. Again, not very impressive with what we saw today, but you do see the band where that instability, those showers and storms, very short lived. So as soon as they kind of bubbled up and got to that thunderstorm, might have only heard one or two rumbles of thunder before the thunderstorm started to kind of lose that strength, started to fall back in on itself. Uh, just not the environment in the upper levels to really support those sustained thunderstorms. So again, not a whole lot of rain, but we did see those kind of develop in towards the evening hours. Here's one of those thunderstorms. As soon as it pops up, picks up some of that dust, starts to kind of fall apart as fast as it was popping up. So again, very short lived in nature, uh, and that doesn't mean a whole lot of rain for the area, but it also cuts down on the severe threat as well. And we've definitely seen the cool down, those winds out of the northeast, 18 miles per hour. Take a look at what it's doing to the temperatures, 89. When the last time we've seen a temperature into the 80s during the 10 o'clock show. So again, uh, much cooler across the area than what we've seen in the past couple weeks as well as those dew points still a little bit on the humid side into those mid 60s. Upper 80s for most of the Concho Valley still seeing a pocket of those 90s where we didn't see nearly as much of those showers, uh, those temperatures in that front pushing further towards the south. So still hanging on to some of those 90s further towards the south, upper 80s and towards the northern parts of the Concho Valley. But now that frontal system for the most part has pushed through, still seeing that temperature change from this time yesterday. When well, you see how it slowly kind of increases, uh, some spots getting from five to eight degrees cooler than this time yesterday, uh, thanks to that cold front. So not super strong as far as the really impacts of it, but it does like to pull that temperature gauge in the right direction, seeing it kind of cool off for once in quite a while. Wind still pretty, pretty breezy out there, uh, generally out of the north and uh, east. Uh, seeing some wind gusts up to almost 30 miles per hour here in San Angelo. A gust of 27 out in Merton, 19 in Big Lake. Same with the uh, uh, Sterling City, also seeing some breezy conditions. A gust of 23 miles per hour as you go into the evening hours. Again, those storms for the most part have dissipated with the loss of daytime heating. Not likely to see a whole lot more activity, but we will see those temperatures cool back down into those low 70s. Northeasterly wind, those are going to stay in place 10 to 15 miles per hour. That's going to help to keep things cooler for tomorrow. And we're going to be watching this. Whether we can stay out of the triple digits and only top out into the upper 90s, most of the Concho Valley is going to reach up into the 90s. Could see some of our southern parts uh, out towards I-10 corridor. Could see some of those spots reaching to the triple digits. Mostly clear skies, but unfortunately, uh, the cool down doesn't last all that long. That cooler air slides off towards the east. Then by the Wednesday, we start to see high pressure start to take more influence here in the Concho Valley. And for much of West Texas, that high pressure starts to climb back in towards the southern plains. And then it really starts to expand outward. So we'll see it going in towards the second half of the week. And for the weekend, that high pressure really sitting in over much of the central United States. That's going to be seeing clear skies for much of the area, as well as starting to see those temperatures climb back up into the triple digits. So unfortunately, getting back into that summer light pattern with that high pressure really kind of staying in place and even strengthening uh, as we go through the rest of the week in towards the weekend and for next week as well. So enjoy the bit of a cool down for uh, the little bit of a day that we have it for tomorrow. Temperatures could be breaking up that streak of triple digits. Unfortunately, doesn't last all that long. We're back into the triple digits by Wednesday. Temperatures increasing to near record levels as we go in towards Thursday and Friday with the chance for an isolated shower, though most of us will see a few passing clouds. Temperatures likely to pick back up into the triple digits for the weekend.